Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the paper detection of new vessels on the optic disc using retinal photographs. Diabetic retinopathy is one of the leading causes of visual impairment in the developed world. There are two main mechanisms by which vision is lost. One is macular edema, another one is proliferative retinopathy. The macular edema is the accumulation of fluid in the macula. Although it cannot be seen directly on monoscopic photographs, its presence may be inferred by indicators such as exudates. Proliferative retinopathy is the more serious condition as it involves the development of new vessels which are prone to bleed, leading to hemorrhage, fibrosis and ultimately retinal detachment. In this paper, a method for detecting standard screening photographs which show new vessels on the optic disc is described and evaluated. Of all the features of proliferative retinopathy, new vessels at the disc carry the worst prognosis and detection of these is most likely to add value to an automated grading system. Let's discuss on the DFD. Regarding DFD, consider a retinal image, pre-process it. In pre-processing, green component of the image is extracted and this extracted component is subjected to morphological watershed algorithm which detects the exudates. After the exudates are detected, we have to implement the feature extraction algorithm. With the features extracted, we have to classify it using SVM classifier. This SVM classifier detects whether the image is normal or abnormal. This SVM classifier is a supervised classifier. So this classifier has to be pre-trained with the number of retinal images and the features extracted. So this uh, data flow diagram specifies a single retinal image either as normal or abnormal. Let's see the execution of the algorithm. In order to execute the algorithm, press retinal classification.m and press run file. This is a guide designed to evaluate the algorithm. Select any one of the images from this folder. I am selecting one of this image. I am pre-processing the image. This is the green plane extraction and this is the pre-processed image where the edges are preserved. And apply watershed algorithm. This is a binary image. This is the distant transform and the superimposed image. Apply a watershed gradient on it and apply the superimposed to it. Now you, ha you have to create a marker control and this is the gradient extracted and this is the final resulted exudate extraction. You have to extract the features for this particular extracted exudates. These are the features and you have to classify this. Since we are using an SVM classifier, it is a binary classifier and our abnormal image is classified here as abnormal in the pink color. This is the hyperplane representing the uh, distinct features between normal and abnormal and these are the support vectors. Green samples are represented as normal, red samples are represented as abnormal. Now classify the entire data set. This is the classification done for entire data set normal and abnormal and this is the graph representing it and you can see a confusion matrix displayed here out of 121 abnormal images all are, def all are classified as abnormal correctly but in normal case out of 42 images only 40 are considered as normal and 2 is misclassified as abnormal and hence the accuracy percentage is represented as 98.773 percentage and now the analysis graphs this is the same that represent the classification graph this is followed by a bar graph this is a bar graph representing train samples and test samples this is an ROC curve receiver operating characteristics plotted for true positive rate and false positive rate this is the mirrored version of the graph and this is a part test graph representing false positive, true positive, false negative and true negative graphically. And from the execution of the algorithm, we have demonstrated an automated system which is able to distinguish normal and abnormal vasculature on the optic disc. It could form part of a system to reduce manual grading workload or a tool to prioritize patient grading cues. Thank you.